So we had a not terribly long discussion about timeline semaphores, and uh, the good news is that we basically all agreed on most of the details. Um, there's a few things we particularly decided that we wanted. Um, one was that we want to allow speculative submits from user space. So instead of user space, always having to do a wait to make sure that all offenses are materialized, we decided that instead we want user space to be able to do a speculative submit in the hopes that they're all materialized and then only have to do the wait and fork off into another thread if you actually run into the, uh, the wait before signal case. Uh, and along with that, so that means that exec has to be able to check and return an error value and we decided that exec should return something better than negative e val. Um, we don't know what it's going to return, but we decided that something slightly less generic would be a good idea. Um, we decided that we want to wait for submit flag so that the user space can do waits for when the, all the fences have materialized. Um, and we also decided that we want to support the case where you have one thread for all queues instead of requiring um, one, queue per, uh, one thread per queue which rules out the case where the only way to do the wait is in the exact call. Because if the only way to do the wait is in the exact call, then you have to be able to have things happen asynchronously, so you have to have multiple threads. But we decided we wanted to support uh, doing a single thread, which one thought was to try and come up with some sort of a wait for any of all group or some other named thing to well, make this easier, but then we decided we probably don't actually need that um, and we're gonna try and implement it without coming up with some crazy hard to specify ioctal that nobody knows exactly what it means. Um, we also decided uh, that it might be useful to, to add some sort of a way of returning all finished sync objects from wait for any. Currently we just return one that we know finished, um, but we decided that probably not worth it. Um, we all agreed on most of it, hooray. Uh, so hopefully we can get stuff implemented and I don't know that we're gonna be shipping anything by end of year, but we can probably get uh, pretty close. And uh, one other thing that came out of it is the suggestion that when we start doing implicit sync, excuse me, explicit sync plumbing for X11 and Wayland, uh, we should probably just jump straight to timeline sync files and skip bothering with uh, ooh, timeline sync objects and skip bothering with sync files slash fence FD, which is the thing we imported from Android. And it works okay, but this has less overhead because you can share the synchronization object as a file descriptor once and then it's just a 64-bit integer for the rest of time after that. So it's a little bit lower overhead and probably a little bit easier to work with. So that's it, thank you.